Okay, this is a uh, insufficient memory on the on the card. So here's a uh, part two. This is uh, another RAF Urban I got. This is the real deal. Um, this is used by American Air Crews. That's the story I got. Um, I can't make out what it says. I'm guessing that's a Indian face on there, but I couldn't tell you. RATC Patty. I can't make it out. This one does not have a. Uh, a label stamp up in here a label it's gone long gone um, air ministry if you can see that uh, not Talon but air ministry um, really great old coat these ones that didn't use a chemical that destroyed the uh, b3s etc and um, it's got this webbing to hold the collar up you'll see coastal command it'll look like the exact same coat but coastal command will be a hood and it'll be bright yellow um, they were not pilots they were coastal command as far as I know they're on the ground um, but I could be totally wrong you never see patches on these at least I never do but there's that one and then here's a real special treat for you um, I collect German military as well and uh, hope this camera will give us enough film to get there. This, this is a high altitude bomber's coat that I picked up. Um, never ever seen them except in photos. So very rare. I was looking up this insignia and there's a stripe here. One, two, three, four. So this would have been like a senior officer. Believe it or not, it, what I looked up said it was a general, so who knows. A uh, quick look on this. That is not a tear, that is an underarm gusset. No collar insignia. This one, surprisingly, no zipper. Maybe it just came off. Uh, side pockets. Here's our other insignia that's long gone. Um, unusual patch better way to put a coat together uh, what else can I show you uh, the back of it was like a silk like material it is rotted off um, a coat you would have found maybe flying against the British most likely on the Eastern Front but high altitude and the sheepskins in really good condition it's got like cuffs like elastic cuffs underneath there kind of a high quality make um, coat from the back that looks like it's been repaired who knows what what took that out um, but you know whenever I get this stuff I always think it's somebody's bullshit my ass and selling me a fake and passing it off as real but I gotta say this time I think this is the real deal in fact I'm convinced it is um, it's definitely a high quality coat um, sometimes you'll see collectors guild he'll have pants for these I don't believe I've ever seen him have a coat on there, Pete Waymond. I don't believe he's ever had a coat on there, but I could be very wrong. He gets a lot of great stuff in. But anyway, gang, I just thought I'd show you my flight jackets. And uh, if you got coats you want to sell, um, let me know. I'm always buying. I'm in the United States. Uh, I just buy, well, I buy what you see. Um, if you know anybody that does repair on World War II sheepskins, etc., let me know because I'd like to get that one coat repaired um, and put another panel on it. In fact, I, I would buy more of these coats if I had somebody that would, would repair them, you know, and do a fantastic job for me and I'd pay whatever you want. All right, gang. Um, I've been wanting to show you these because I know there's folks out there in the universe that just are about as crazy about flight jackets as, as I am. Um, they're really neat, you know, and they're, boy, if, if they could... If, if the pilots were here to tell you about their stores that went with them, they would keep you very interested. So, all right, gang. Uh, have any questions, let me know. I'll try and answer them. I will catch you on the next video.